Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. This is Shabazz. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix desktop Windows Manager that is DWM.exe, high memory or high CPU usage both on Windows 11 and Windows 10. So this can really take a lot of space on your computer, both on memory and CPU and that can really ruin your experience while operating any kind of application or while doing gaming on your PC. I'm going to share five effective methods and I'm very sure that if you apply all these five methods one by one properly then uh, your PC this problem will be fixed. And if yes make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel before leaving the video. So let's get quickly started. So the first thing that you have to do is you need to restart the Windows Explorer. But before that let me show you if I open my task manager. You see here desktop windows manager is occupying 2.7% one it keeps fluctuating and you can see the most of the memory usage CPU usage is occupied by desktop windows manager. And the same is on the case of memory. You can see 120 MB sometimes more than that probably in your case it can be much higher than this. So the first thing that you have to do is you just need to restart the windows explorer you just need to refresh your windows so that you can see that it makes any kind any kind of changes so you just need to open your task manager and you need to look for uh, the file explorer if in case you do not find here then you can open any folder minimize it and you will find here windows explorer now what you have to do just make a right click on it and then click on restart now once done we will look again does that make any difference no it doesn't make any difference it almost remains the same okay so we move with the next method where we have to update the graphic driver because this is almost related with the graphics uh, with the background processes performance so we just need to make sure that we do not have any faulty driver or outdated driver how you can do that just press windows and r key to bring up the run box and here you have to type devmgmt.msc and then click on ok so the device manager box will now be up and here you have to go to the display display adapters intel hd graphics so whichever your graphic card is it can be even amd so you have to look for it make a right click on it choose update driver and if you have already downloaded then you can go with browse my computer for drivers or else you can go search automatically for drivers so this will look for the driver if you already have the updated one it will give you this message and if not then it will let you know that how you need to update it so simply follow the method to update your graphic card if you are done with this then you do not need to check back because it won't be bring the changes now the most important setting is now that we have to make changes with registry and with the services okay so again just minimize everything press windows and the r key to bring up the run box type regedit r-e-g-e-d-i-t click on ok then click on yes and now the registry editor will now be up so here you just need to click on H key local machine then on system then on control set 001 click on it and then you have to click on services it's already up services and then here you have to look for NDU so you can click anywhere then click on the N key to come to the end section and now here you will find NDU so just look for it here it is so once you come to NDU on the right hand side you will see this section these files you need to make a double click on this start so just make a double click and here the value data should be to 2 you just need to make it 4 so just write 4 then click on OK once you are done you can go back you can minimize it and now in the next setting we have to again go to HE local machine then on system 
and this time you have to go with current control set and then we have to look for control and here we have to look for the session manager so just click anywhere and then click on then press the s key to come to the s section and here look for session manager here it is just make a double click on it and then we have to look for memory management so look for memory management here it is let's make a click on it and here on the right hand side you will see clear page file at shutdown so just click on it make a double click on it and here we have the value that you will find will be zero we have to make it one so once done click on ok and now we are all done with the registry now we have to move to the service and we have to disable the windows uh, management that is windows management service so just close it now again press windows and r key to bring up the run box type services dot msc and then click on ok now here click anywhere again and then click on w key to come to the w section and look for windows management service here it is make a double click on it and here in the startup type it says manual you just need to go with disabled then click on apply then click on ok once done in the next step we just need to uh, disable the screensaver settings so for that you have to open the settings you can just uh, click on the windows icon and choose settings then click on personalization and then scroll down a bit and then click on lock screen again scroll down then click on a screensaver and now here make sure the screensaver is set to none in case if it's been set to photos 3d text blank we just need to disable the screen saver because that only is the main cause of occupying a lot of space. So you just need to make it sure that it's been set to none then click on apply and then click on ok. So once you are all done with these methods you just need to, to restart your PC and after that you need to check and right now you can see it has been decreased. Uh, it's been uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, earlier it was reaching 2.5 but i'm very positive that once you restart your pc even you will find more changes with the memory now you can see if you just go rewind the video it was reaching above to 1.5 1.7 but now it's mostly to 0.3 and 0.4 and it is still without restarting the pc so once if i restart you will see a great changes so you have to exactly do the same as i have done and make sure that you apply all the settings one by one do not make any mistakes and if this worked for you guys make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel and in case if it doesn't work still if you have the problem then let me know in the comment section thank you so much